Harvark here. It's time for another video battle report, and we're going to be going uh, My Imperial Guard against Glenn's Blood Angels. We're going to be doing 1850. This is a Depticon preparation mission. Uh, I've already honked up the deployment of the objectives. <laughs> so um, let's come back. We'll take a look at the armies and then uh, take a look at the mission and the setup. All right, Glenn, tell us what you got in your army. All right, Depticon Army. We're going to have five. Three tactical squads, or actually assault squad for troops. Power fist, melt a gun in each squad. I have one squad, tactical marines, then I'm going to combat squad. Everybody's in razorbacks with uh, heavy bolters. I have death company, where I'm running four power swords, one power fist with a chaplain. Of course, the beast himself, the fist on, and I run Trubulo. Two ball predators, armed the only way they should be armed, salt cannons, heavy bolters. One regular predator, last cannon, assault cannon, or, uh, Okay. That's a sexy uh, predator, by the way. Whoever painted that must have been a genius or something. Yes. All right, so that's it. What's your uh, battle plan? You know. Uh... Well, knowing this list, and this is like I said, this is not a strange. We're, we're, this is not the first time these armies have fought. I gotta kill them, and I gotta kill them, and I gotta kill them. My first priority, I think, is going to be take out the hydras. Uh, okay. It's gonna be the first thing I'm gonna have to take out. I'm just gonna have to eat the vendettas. I don't see any other way around it. No, those will actually inflict more damage to me than the Vendetta will at this point. All right, man. All right, guys. This is my Adepticon army. Uh, what I've got right here is I've got a company command squad with the company commander, average Joe Schmo. Uh, I've got the officer of the fleet, uh, four plasmas. And then I have uh, five veteran squads, two with plasmas and two with melting guns. All of them in chimeras. Then I'm rocking the, uh, the Hydra Spam army. So two squad, two hydras and three squadrons, and then I have three vendettas. And so what this gives me here is the uh, majority of my army is going to be twin linked. I have twin linked glass cannons, twin linked hydras, plus all my veterans are hitting on threes. So it increases my ability to dish out the damage. Not to mention, or not to you know, not to overlook the fact that I have all the multi lasers, which are great for cleaning up troops in the open and stuff like that. So my purpose or what my battle plan is against uh, Glenn is to knock out his fire support and then start picking his vehicles, get his troops out, and then if I can do that early enough in the game, the Hydras will clean up these small squads in a turn. And uh, Mephiston is going to come up and start wrecking face. You know, uh, I'll have to deal with him when he gets close with the plasma or the melta and then just call it a day on that. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, here comes the mission. One. All right, guys, here's our setup. It's kind of a Nova Open-esque style setup with terrain. Big centerpiece, uh, most of the terrain centered in each quarter. If you can see the objectives right here, there's three across the back. Uh, that's where I screwed up when I set the objectives up. I kind of set up like I was going to get that side, lost turn, for the roll for first turn. So Glenn takes it. So I got my work cut out for me, which is okay. Uh, I like the challenge, so we'll see how it goes. All right, so... So I don't forget, the objectives, the primary, this is a last year Adepticon mission. The primary is going to be Annihilation kill points. The secondary is how many objectives do you have out of five. And the tertiary is kill the marked unit. And who has the most clothes on when it's over. So, you know, a little freakiness on Saturday night. All right, we'll be right back with turn one. All right, guys, here's our setup. Glenn's pretty much spread out across the table, but he's heavy on the north side of the table. That's where all his predators are. I have uh, countered with my Vendettas across the top with a mix of Plasma and Melta and the Hydras are spread out so that one squad can't take them all out. So that's my setup. We'll see if we can make a go at it. Back for turn. Right. I had to do a uh, switch on my tactics up front. Uh, he scout moved his Vendettas up, blocking both my movement and what I needed to shoot. So what I did, moved up, dismounted, shot, got an effect, took off a weapon. Shot everything here, he blocked that. Shot a salt cannon here, was able to take off a weapon and stun it. Jumped out here, melted, and took a weapon off. Last cannon from here hit, and he blocked it. I went ahead and popped smoke on all my vehicles because they really can't do anything right now. Smoke provided by the Pasco Games. And smoke. <laughs> yeah. a pretty cool smoke setup, by the way. All right, so that's Glenn's turn one. All right, guys, uh, for kind of productive. I was getting a lot of results, but Glenn made the majority, I would say 90% of all um, cover saves. So uh, here we go. On What happened was concentrated fire killed the squad off that was right here. 
that guy broke, he's running, he'll regroup in this turn. Um, comb combined fire from here made that uh, ball predator where it could not shoot. These two squads shot at the ball predator. However, he made every cover save. So that's six melt the guns and whatever else I shot at him. And he still did all the cover saves. The hydras here shot at the vehicle here, made his cover saves. This unit right here shot their plasma out the roof and took the weapon off the top and immobilized this vehicle. The Hydra's here immobilized that vehicle and um, it still got its weapon. Then these guys here shot their plasma, killed one troop out of the squad, and the last rifle got a hit and killed one troop out of the squad. The multi-laser didn't do anything. Um, the Vendetta shot at the Ball Predator, and the other Vendetta shot at the Ball Predator, and did not penetrate. Did not penetrate the so, side arm. The side armor with the last cannon. I know, isn't that crazy? So, um, my other Vendetta had moved flat out because it was could not shoot. Um, it was a uh, could not move or shoot. However, since Vendettas have you know uh, extra. extra armor, he moved flat out, so he'll get the cover save this turn, and is an extra added distraction in the backfield. So, uh, that was my turn one. Um, we'll see what happens next. <laughs> All right, turn two wasn't too bad. Not, not nearly as productive as turn one, but not bad. What we did, we did a lot of shooting. We shot this with my Predator and did nothing. Shot it with Melton and did nothing. And finally, we shot it with a last cannon up here and made it where it can't shoot. That's all we did there. Uh, he moved, actually, we did the ball predator. Oh, and an earthquake and happened an earthquake. and killed the three. Uh, shot the Chimera, blew it up. Shot a uh, heavy bolter, killed some guys there. I think killed two. Killed there. one guy. Killed uh, a couple guys with the explosion. So I lost four on the explosion of the vehicle and one from the heavy bolter. Yeah. Uh, right here, we uh, got these moved up, moved these guys out, shot here, and nothing. We got these guys out and shot and did nothing. <laughs> So we went into assault. We went ahead with Mephiston, moved him up, fleet, had a good fleet, and uh, moved up. So we got into assault. Death Company did a dual assault. We blew up both these vehicles. Uh, never got a chance to even use these guys' assault for that. Mephiston came over here, had a lot of effects, and killed one vehicle twice and made him not shoot a bunch of times. Okay. And that's where we're at. All righty. So ready, going into my turn to two. Eat some plasma. There it comes. My turn two. A lot happened, and then a lot didn't happen. Um, it was a good turn. I blew up some vehicles. Let's take a look. All right, here on this turn, I blew up with shooting from um, their plasma. Shot over there, killed the Razorback. The um, this Vendetta could not shoot. This Vendetta shot and blew up the other uh, Ball Predator. This squad came out of the crater and uh, melted the the turret off of that and immobilized it. Uh, then the assault phase, they assault with frag grenades. If you didn't know, frag grenades are strength four against vehicles. But I didn't do anything. The hydras here killed that thing, is what killed it, was the hydras. So come over here, Mephiston had assaulted. This could not shoot. These guys were blown out of their vehicles. So I stood and fired. Now I'll come back to this. This shot and put a wound on Mephiston. These guys shot and killed uh, the majority of the squad here, along with the fire from the Hydras. So that squad's got to take a leadership. I think there's only the Power Fist guy left. All right, the commander ordered these guys to bring down, or to first rank fire, second rank fire against Mephiston. The three, he's got three, um, he's got three Melta shots into him, would have killed him off, and then for results, I rolled three ones. So, he still lived. The, the last guns only put one wound on him. 15, 15 the, hits. The plasma here shot and put a wound on him, right, from the plasma? No, you put two wounds on him with plasma. Yeah, there you go. So, it ends up that Mephiston lives. The Def Company still stayed in there, so all these guys are going to die. Um, that's okay. It's war. People die. <laughs> um, other than that, that was about it, but still, good round. This game isn't over by a long stretch. There's a lot of jostling back and forth to do, and uh, we'll see how it goes. So, uh, another good round, and we're going down to three. All right, top of three. Uh, the fist on living certainly gave me a new added. Uh, I was not expecting him to live. Wing Sangus came over and uh, took out the other uh, 
Hydra. Hydra's over here. Blue one up, made him where he can't shoot. Uh, Death Company devastated both those squads. I did a dual assault, took them both out. Shot from here, killed some guys on this squad here. They broke and ran. Uh, this squad ran up the hill. I first shot with a melting gun and missed, but then I assaulted the vehicle, blew it up, did seven wounds, and he, or he, he lost seven guys. That, that was pretty nasty. Uh, Carapace armor certainly would have helped. Um, yeah, no, no. If I had had Carapace armor on those oh, guys, I would have lost two. two. So I'm rethinking Carapace armor on all my troops. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, I have to agree with him on that part. Um, and then you put another camp shoot. can shoot in this one, and that's it. That's all I did. All right. There we go. Yeah. So we're bottom of three. Um, all right, guys. Good turn for the uh, Imperial Guard. Uh, basically, the squad in here sacrificed the last plasma guy to kill Mephisto. So he shot and like, choo choo, and then boom, it blew up and killed him. He's like, go on without me. And they're like, you killed Mephisto, you fucking rock. Oh, I can't edit that out either, but that's okay. So then this squad right here shot Death Company. The Hydra shot Death Company. The Hydra shot Death Company. And we're down to two Death Company now. Chaplain and one dude. Chaplain and one guy with Barfist. This squad fell back off the rock and rapid fired the lone sergeant that was here and poo poo and he's dead. So this blew that up, thereby getting me a kill point. And the other one, he shot at the Predator, did crap, and the other one flew over there and is hanging out to get his four up safe. So we move on now to turn four. Turn four. All right, turn four, top of four. Um, Predator shot Valkyrie, needed to take him down and did. Uh, last cannon here, shot Valkyrie. Uh, got an effect, but he cover saved it. Uh, all my uh, Razorbacks shot this squad. They had one dude left. Rabulo gets out of salt, kills him in assault. This Predator shot this squad. He went to ground. One guy's left, and he's laying there. He's not dead. Death Company, I separated Death Company from the Chaplain. Death Company dude went to there with the Power Fist, killed that... Uh, Hydra. Chaplin comes over here and rolled two ones and failed us all. Plum, plum, plum. Which is bad for him. Yeah, he's fixed me something. And that's where we're at, guys. Okay, for my turn, uh, everything went well except for two things. Um, first of all, the multi laser kills the Chaplin. The last cannons kill the sergeant. Kerbulo takes. He's a death company guy. Just the yeah, death, death company, company guy. Kerbulo takes. 493 wounds and shrugs all of them because he's drinking and he was like the matrix because he's drunk is what it is I, so actually seven hits he misses all but two or he saves all but two on his normal armor save boom shrugs to two so the hydras have reloaded the blanks and they're putting some real rounds in for the next round of shooting over here melt the guns shoot penetrate put a one uh, last cannon, shoot, penetrate, one. So he's not moving or shooting, which is sweet. I'm okay with that. No, he can move. Both were ones. Oh, no, because the melted goes up to two. Oh, that's right. It's two. Stun. Yep, 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 yep. Correct, correct. So um, there we go. And uh, so now we're moving on to turn five. All right, go. All right, turn five, very quick. Uh, dude, I had very little shooting. I shot my last cannon here and missed. He can't shoot or move, and nothing else that I have can hurt anything. Rulo moved through cover and barely went two inches, and that's all we got. We shot a bunch of heavy boulders and chipped off paint. There you go. Let's see if we can survive another round of uh, last cannon love. All right, on my turn, I was able to melt the gun, the Predator, and blew it up, got it off the table. Uh, the Vendetta shot one at this and did nothing. Um, the Hydra shot at this and made it where it couldn't shoot. And the um, Multi-Laser shot at the... The Razorback didn't do anything. These Hydras angled up on Cor Corbulo, shot him, but he saved him with the shrugs. And then this Vendetta moved on top of the objective where it is sitting. There we go. Also, we rolled to end it, and it did not end. So we're going on to turn six. All right. Necessary. Both Vendettas went down this turn. Last cannon shot, penetrated, blew up. Melted gun shot, immobilized. He went flat out, and he killed. Corbulo gonna assault, but my Razorback moved up and shot the side, killed one of the things with a mobilizing but because it's in a squadron, it killed it. Uh, Kabula was gonna assault, but Carl wisely chose the closer one, and he did not need assault. He was... So, this is turn six. 
Okay. All right. Take a leadership check on them guys. Love it. All right. So at the end of my turn, I was able to take the Hydra and shoot a squad that was peeking out of the corner down there. And killed three of them. Killed three out of the five. Uh, then I shot some things with multi lasers and did no effect. And then we roll to end the game. So we're going to survey the damage here. We'll come back in just a minute and count up the kill points uh, and all the score and the whole nine yards. But um, this is what it looks like. There's a whole bunch of dead guard stuff everywhere. And uh, we'll see how it went. All right, guys. So there you go. At the end, um, for kill points, he had 12. I had 9. Um, for objectives, he had uh, 3. Uh, I had 2. Um, I think it would have been a little bit better if it ended in turn before, but um, would have probably been a little bit closer. But still, very close game. We both got the tertiary, which was to destroy the Mark for Death unit. Um, but overall, I thought the game went very well. Um, pretty happy with how it played. I'm not sad that I lost. It was a great game. Um, it's good training. They uh, the, the whole mission, the, 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 the Adepticon rules for taking the three different uh, objective, three different mission objectives makes a huge difference in your play style. And that played into our target priority. Start about turn four. We've played each other long enough. We know what we're, what we're trying to do, so it's nothing sneaky. So we knew what we were having to take out. Vendettas were big on the list, not because of their firepower, because of their mobility this time. Man. So at the end with the Vendettas, I, you know, dropped um, the one here in the middle, I dropped it onto the objective, which he gets an immobilized result on it, so therefore it's destroyed. So, you know, that could have went anyway. You could have put a weapon destroyed on it, or can't move or shoot, and it would have been a contested objective. We would have tied up on the objectives, we would have tied up on everything, we would have went to kill points, which he had me. Um, but still, like I said, I think my Tiger priority was good. My MVP for the game is still the Hydras. Um, still the Hydras. Uh, after all that, the Vendettas are great, but the Hydras were, are what killed the most stuff. Yep. Um, for him, I would have to say Carbulo, because Carbulo ate Hydra Spam for two turns and shook it off and kept on drinking. And didn't even, didn't even break a sweat black there. Yeah, so there you go. All right. So uh, that'll be it from the 19th Legion. You know, if you like this video, click like, subscribe to the channel. Also check us out on Facebook. Um, hey, this is the start of the Adepticon um, coverage, prep, and everything. So uh, check back often between now and the next uh, few days. We're going to be doing all kind of crazy Adepticon um, practice, practice, practice. And some uh, details of the kind of coverage we're going to be giving. So we'll see you soon. Have a good one from the 19th Legion.